Hey guys, MovieFan2002 here, and uh, I was originally going to be saving this for the um, third year anniversary of the Owl House in a couple weeks, but considering I'll be back in school by then, I feel like this could be a better time to do it. Anyways, considering that yesterday, like, we got a little small image sneak peek of the, of the next episode of the Owl House, I think now would be a good time that I need to give you guys my predictions for the next episode. And... And as you can obviously tell, like many people, I am really excited to see it. I mean, who isn't? I mean, th we're talking about the second part of the fin of the finale to pretty much one of the best animated shows in recent years. So, without further ado, what do I think is going to happen in the second part of the finale to this amazing series? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. So, I believe it's going to begin exactly where... Oh, where things then left, left off. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course it's going to. They're going to be back in the boiling aisles, and they're going to find that, well, I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm going to say, like, like from the leaks that we're seeing, it's going to be, like, a big forest, or, but with some rocks over it. Maybe or they ended up in the woods near the owl house. I am not entirely sure. But they are somewhat going to be back there, like, depending on the leaks that we are seeing. There might be some, like, floating rocks around, and, like, like, like floating rubble and like some of the, the aisles might have been turned. But there is a positive sign to all this. Just like considering that um, where um, in Amphibia, like everything was ruins, but there was a resistance to fight back. I have no doubt that that Ida and, and everybody else will be will be doing a resistance. <laughs> where we're going to like see everyone reuniting. Or everyone like Darius, Rain, um, Lilith, Hootie... And all the other characters from the show, like, not only reunite, but also, like, are in the resistance. Everyone except Ida, because we're in, th thanks to them, Luz fe felt guilty of being, uh, felt guilty, although she w felt guilty of what she thought was being responsible for the, for the cause of the Day of Unity. And was afraid that everyone was going to hate her, which, um, which we knew wasn't going to happen, especially that, I'm so glad that, and especially that we didn't have any bull bullshit separation argument scene. Thank God, Dana. I mean, you f you thankfully did the one thing I told... You thankfully did the one thing I asked you not to do, and you didn't do it. Thank you. You you listened to us. Or maybe she, just, she, she didn't want to do it anyway, but anyways. But that's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is... Ida is going to possibly feel guilty of... Of her overconfidence that they thought they could stop the day of unity, but she and when, because she told them not to worry, but unfortunately it did. Especially that she let Luz and King go on their own, and now because of that she thought um, Luz was dead for a few months, and also feeling bad that King is with the collector. I'll be getting to him pretty soon. Don't worry. But just like, however, I think like in this episode, Luz is going to be helping Ida get back. Back into the swing of things. Possibly have a scene similarly to Separate Ties where she tells her her life is great because she met her and everybody else. However, she won't be the only character who will be who will be like in a sad in a sad situation in the episode. There is also Hunter. Of course, with the loss of Flapjack, he is definitely going to be in a grieving position, and it will be hard for him to get out out of it. Luz will not be the only one who will be helping him. Okay, of course everyone will be, will be. But in terms of the key players, it won't be just Luz and Camila, but also Willow. Yes, I can possibly see that because of the, the Hudlow ship. Well, somewhat. Well, sort of. Especially ever since thanks to them, like, I actually did start to, like, start leaning more towards it. But also because Willow is a very nice and supportive friend, friend to Hunter. Fact so much, though, that when she thought she was dead and, and thanks to them, well, okay, actually, she was dead for a moment, um... Willow was actually like right next to his head and she was crying out in tears. That that can definitely tell how much she was really missing really missing him and concerned. Another thing I like to see in the episode, at least for me personally, and I know it's doubtful it will happen, but I'd actually like there to be a moment where Luz actually comforts Amity. Because let's say that there's like something that might have her feel get a bit concerned a bit scared. Like, maybe the fact that Luz will have to go back home and she might not, and she's concerned that if she goes back, like, Amity might go back to her old ways. Like, being, 
being like Odalia back in the past, being like who her mother wanted her to be. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that happens, but Luz will be there to comfort her. But what about King? What would his role in the story be? Well, I'm glad you asked. Of course, with him being the collector, we're obviously going to see see them like hanging out with each other. And of course, like spending, t spending t time with one another. Like getting King the collector at like, learning more about the Collector's backstory and, like, who he tr truly is. Like, what is he really? Then, of course, you have the Collector himself. Now, of course, like I said, we're probably going to learn about his backstory. And maybe, just maybe, we might see something else with him. I'll get more onto that a bit later, but, but yeah, we might possibly see that happening with him. As for his backstory, I am not entirely sure what it's about, but I hope it is going to be pretty sad. Speaking of backstories, I hope we do learn about the Boiling Isles perspective of Caleb and Evelyn's story. Especially with Evelyn, who, yes, I do believe is a Clawthorn. Oh, and speaking of Clawthorns, can we at least have a moment with, with Lilith and, and Amity, please? Seriously. Seriously. How many episodes have we had with them together? Yeah. Point taken. Only come invention. That is it. So, yeah. Please, just, just, even if it's only like a small scene, just like with, with, with her and Camila at the beginning of Thanks to Them, please, j just give us that. Um, as for Bellos, well, I don't know what, like, his role in the story will be, although, as the synopsis states, it's like, like, Luz and her friends will be racing against him in order to get to the Collector. But if I had to guess what this would be, I think the Collect, he's gonna, like, try to gather an army. And if I had to take a guess of what's gonna be, he's gonna try to find a way to free the, t He's gonna learn about the Titan Trappers, and he's gonna learn out of, and he's gonna find a way to free them in order, in order to, in order to prevent them from getting to the Collector. And he's gonna learn that King is actually a Titan. Oh, and Luz, I and I hope Luz will tell them that no, that King is a Titan. Sorry. Although, unlike um, with her involved, like with her, like with her being tricked by Billows, I don't think. Think that this is something she she would be she wanted to hide from them, and besides, I'm sure she will tell she will tell them th this. Besides, besides, if it is like the the only one like what they need in order to stop like what's coming, it does make sense. But now I know what you're thinking. With the episode being called for the future, will the what kind of action sequences shall we be expecting in the episode? Ooh, ooh, ooh I'm just. Getting right there because I have some pretty good ones in my mind. First, I'm hoping for a fight between Willow and Terra Snapdragon. Yeah, okay, I know that know that Terra Snapdragon isn't necessarily um bad anymore, but considering that uh, but considering that Terra Snapdragon is somewhat still evil and I really don't like her, and she is the person who who forced her and Rick who first Ida and Rain to fight each other when they were young. Yeah, I'd love to see a plant battle between those two. It's going to be so cool. And I wonder how she's going to kill her. Ooh. Next, I hope to see an interrogation where Luz, Amity, and Hunter have to... are, like, interrogating the crap out of Kikimura. Of course, considering... I don't expect Kikimura to have a big role in the episode, but I do believe, like, she's got to, like, somewhat, quote-unquote help them in order what to do in order to st stop both Bellows and the Collector. Then, then I am hoping for a battle between where Luz, Amity, Camilla, Ida, and Alador face off against Odalia again. And, and it would be epic. Oh, trust me, just freaking awesome just to see them all clash, like clashing there. Clashing together and just be so freaking cool. You have no idea how much I'm, I'm excited for that to happen. Then, of course, we have the anticipated... Then, of course, we have possibly the big one of the episode. And the, hey, the, the next fight will possibly be the second to last fight of the series with, Be with Bellos and our main cast. This time, Ida... Ida and a few of the other characters will be joining in on the action. And I'm just so excited to see it. And of course, it will obviously be set in front of the Collector. And the Collector, this is where I believe what's going to happen. The Collector will finally, will finally see something that they should be seeing. They're not, that the game that he's playing is not actually a real game. But actually, 
It's like a brutal battle to the death. This ultimately makes him realize that... Wait. This is... This... This is wrong. Uh, I shouldn't be doing this. Like, I, th th this is not how it's supposed to go. Like, this is not how I imagine games should be. Like, this is... This is just dark. And then, when you know it, the Collector's gonna have a bit of a turnaround. And he's gonna help them kill Bellos again, although, just like in All In of Amphibia, it's gonna be a little bit... temporary, because, just like with All In, there's gonna... I believe there's gonna be a cliffhanger ending, but we'll get to that pretty soon. Anyways, um, obviously in the episode, some other stuff I forgot to talk about is that Luz and Ida are obviously gonna reunite, then possibly... Possibly, at the end of this episode, Luz, Ida, and King are going to reunite as well. Yeah. Oh, and of course, have Hootie and Steve just being themselves. Yeah! All hell, Steve! <laughs> but of course, I know what you're all what you're all wondering. But wait a minute. What about Luz's palisman? It didn't hatch in, in thanks to them. So talk about that image. Oh, I'm going to now. So, in... So in the um, latest commercial we got yesterday, we, we get this little quick sh shot of Luz like being amazed by this glowing purple glowing thing that's happening in, in front of and there's a little step and there's a staff below it. All obviously implicating that this is Luz's palisman and it's gonna be hatching. If I had to take my guess that says it's most likely gonna be a snake because obviously they they've been because they've been teasing the hell out of it in the last episode. And even some... In, even in a... <laughs> sorry. Even in a couple moments in, th in the first episode. And even lose mentioning snake arms. Or may, it could be an honor for the dark side. Or a dragon. Seriously. Considering that, considering that we have yet to have at least a bit of dragons in it. And considering that this is a fantasy show, we should at least have at least a slight bit of dragons. Come on. Also, the Owl House likes to subvert expectations sometimes. That's with some predictions. I mean, we thought that Luz was going to be turned was going to turn into the Collector. Okay, no, I mean possessed by the Collector, but it didn't. But that didn't happen. And besides, I don't think Luz is becoming the becoming. Uh, Luz is not going to become the Collector. Luz is going to become the Good Witch Lazura. I said Good Witch Lazura because, let's be real here, we already have the Good Witch Lazura. So she's obviously going to turn into the Good Witch Lazura, especially by the end of the series. But I'll get more onto that when we, when I get near the, near the release of that episode. Oh, right. Yes. The cliffhanger ending. If you have to tell me what I think it's going to end, I th think it's going to end with the... With Bellows giving a farewell speech to which kind? Attention, witches of the Boiling Isles! I'm sure you all have many questions, but I can no longer shield you from the harsh truth. My name is Philip Willing, and for as long as I can remember, which kind has been a plague to not just humanity, but the very natural order that we all exist under, corrupting the hearts and souls of innocent lives that don't know any better. I've made it my life's mission to correct this error. And while I try to give you all a painless exit from this world, I'm afraid that my hand has been forced into a different direction. And so, I will use the body of the Titan to stomp out every single witch from the demon realm and preserve humanity's future. And Luz, considering you have been supporting these monsters for far too long, you will have no choice but to die alongside them as well. It's not fair, but no, this is justice. Yeah, I think it's gonna be be a pretty dark and epic finale where where Bells is gonna possess the body of the Titan, and the first half of that episode is gonna be like them stuff. It's gonna be like an Endgame style final battle. But then again, I, that's just my predictions. But we'll see what happens. But so yeah, either way, I'm really excited for the Al House. For, for the Owl House Season 3 Episode 2, thanks to them. The penultimate episode of the series. I can't wait to see how how, this all, how it all comes together with some arcs wrap up before we get to the major finale. So yeah. Anyways, 
Leave your predictions down below in the comments. And until the next video comes, peace and take care.